All right, our last problem is this last one on the left-hand side where we're left to find the gross income. We have the deductions, we have the net. So I'm gonna go back to my paper and I'm going to build my model. I'm gonna split my model in half just like we've done before and I'm gonna write G, D, N. Because net plus deductions gives you gross. If you have gross and you have deductions, you can subtract to find the net. And if you have gross and net, you can subtract to find the deductions. So let's see what pieces we have. This time we have our deductions and we have our net. Let's fill that in. We have $186.56 we have a net income of $646.27. So to figure out our gross income, to figure out our total amount, we're going to put those two together. Remember, these are unequal amounts, so our only choices are add or subtract, and in this case, we're going to put them together to find the gross. So slide that information over to the right, Set it up, 186 and 56 cents. Make sure you're writing big enough so it fits on the line. 646 and 27 cents. We're gonna add these together to find the answer. So I'm gonna put my plus sign. And when we add, we always start on the right. So if I have six and I add seven to that, I'm gonna start with seven and add six. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is the answer. So write your three and regroup your one to the next place value. If I'm sitting at five and I add two, that gives me seven plus one more, which makes eight. Bring down your decimal. Six plus six, well that's a double, and that gives me 12. Regroup the one to the next place value, the tens place. Eight plus four is 12, plus one more gives me 13. So write your three and carry your one. And six plus one is seven, plus one more makes eight. So my total, or my gross, is $832.83. I'm gonna go back to my paper and I'm gonna record that information in the box. Now, boys and girls, what you are left to do, you're gonna go back and you're going to... So your job is to go and do the last three problems, starting here and working your way down. Just like we did in the models on the video, we drew a model for each problem, we solved it on the right, and then we recorded our information on our paper. Those are my expectations, and I expect you to do the math in pencil. If you do it in pen, I'll go ahead and hand you a new sheet. I want everything done in pencil, and I want it neat, and I want it organized. And those are my expectations. This will be due today.